Israel asks U.S. for more ammunition as tension with Iran rises. Israel is asking the U.S. for more tank ammunition and tactical vehicles, three people familiar with the matter said, as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government looks to replenish its stockpiles amid the war in Gaza and increasing tensions with Iran, Bloomberg informs. Three anonymous agency sources stated that the request was made on April the 19th. According to them, the U.S. administration has not yet begun an official assessment. The State Department and National Security Council declined to comment. The agency notes that this request is separate from the request of an additional $95 billion in funding that Congress plans to pass this weekend to provide military aid to Israel and Ukraine. One official said that the U.S. has not yet begun the process of reviewing the request, which in any case will take many months and does not guarantee a sale. According to one official, most of the sale will consist of tank ammunition, with the other part being the Oshkosh core family of medium tactical vehicles. The agency notes that the new request also differs from a previous request for the sale of over 1,500-pound MK82 bombs and over 1,250-pound smaller diameter bombs as well as fuses for other munitions which are still awaiting approval from Congress. If approved and a contract is signed, these munitions will not be delivered before 2025. As Bloomberg notes, any such request will once again put the Biden administration in a delicate position as the White House chief has stated that American support for Israel's defense is ironclad following the Hamas attack on October the 7th, 2023. The Wall Street Journal reported earlier that the administration was weighing the request for $1 billion in 120mm tank ammunition, vehicles and mortar rounds. Israel's need for additional weaponry intensified on April the 13th when its air defense, supported by the US, the UK and other countries intercepted around 300 drones and missiles launched by Iran. This raised concerns of an escalation and heightened fears of a wider war in the Middle East region. On April the 19th, Israel retaliated by striking a radar system near the airport in the Iranian city of Isfahan. Devastating flash floods plunged Dubai into a living nightmare as shops and buildings were crushed to ruins and vehicles were forced to be abandoned as they became submerged in murky waters. Traffic congestion remained severe on April 17, two days after the storms, with at least one major road completely blocked by water and multiple junctions cut off by flooding. Although the city is returning to some level of normalcy in the skies, cars remain submerged in deep waters on the once busy roads. Some vehicles were completely submerged, with the top of their roofs barely breaking the water's surface. People have been spotted rowing around the city in small inflatable boats as they attempt to navigate the immense levels of water. Hello boss, salam alaikum. Me today no come job, job no coming today, me. Whoa.